So it's Monday morning here at Bimbadeen Park. We've got a fair few horses going to the event on at Camden on the weekend. So I think we've got 15 going on Saturday and another 10 going on Sunday. So today we've been busy um, just making and checking all the horses, make sure their manes are pulled to a desired length for plaiting, their bridle paths are cut or t- clipped out. And Sage here is just giving a horse a little makeover, getting rid of all the beard, making it look nice and tidy, and just doing all the feathers and stuff as well. It's Tuesday, about 5.40 p.m. Um, we've had a big day at work with clients coming for racehorses and some geldings getting done and things like that, so it's a bit late, but just picked up the truck and trailer from the mechanic, which is about a 40-minute drive from home. Um, the trailer just had to get a rego check, so it's been in for a few days. So lots of gear and stuff still to put in it. Have to put all the gear back from Canberra that wasn't dry um, in it. So anyway, it's only Tuesday, so we've still got a few days ahead of us, but very glad to have it all back at home to start packing. So this is Helsinki, he's entered in the three star national class on the weekend with Sam riding him. Um, it's a routine here that we wash every horse at least once a week anyway, but I do find it a lot easier just to keep them clean consistently. So every horse will get a wash early in the week um, before their main wash the day before they compete. So it's just a matter of keeping their manes tidy and clean same with the tails, it's just best for management all round really. Uh, it's Wednesday afternoon here now. Um, today Shane's decided to jump everything that's going to the competition on the weekend. Um, so Sam's also jumping all of his horses with him as well. So they're currently out in the show jump paddock jumping Easy Turn and Helsinki. So I've got the next two in and ready and these. this is Virgil here. He is wearing his customised Bates Victrix saddle with his special nameplate. Um, he, this horse has been with us for a while now. For those who don't know, he's represented Australia at the World Games in 2018. He's been over to Europe, he's won an ERM leg, he's done quite a bit. Um, so he'll head to have his first start after COVID at Camden on the weekend and we'll see what happens and go from there. This guy here, this is KG or Cage Fighter. Sam rides him, He'll, he's also entered in the four star on the weekend. He also is very lucky and has his own Bates Victrix with his personalized nameplate on the back. Uh, KG's the gentleman of the yard perfectly behaved as always. Um, so these are the last two horses to jump today. So this afternoon I'll be doing as much as I can to pack stuff into the truck after we got it back from mechanic last night. So after all the horses have jumped today, um, we always leave the covers off the saddles. Um, and then in the afternoon when we've got more time, once everything's been ridden, the saddles will get cleaned and the covers will go back on. So basically all these saddles will be polished and cleaned up with the balsam today to get them cleaned and ready for the show. Stirrup irons, um, they'll get wet down with soap and water, make sure the grip is all clean out, cleaned out so their rider's feet don't slip out and just tidy everything up. So then they're polished and ready to go in the truck and trailer on Friday the day before we leave. Also today I've sorted through some saddle blankets. So we need to pack two jumping shape and one dressage shape saddle cloth for every horse that's competing. I also need to go through and find sponsor logos for Shane and then sort out into the other riders what they'll wear. Um, so Shane also rides in these cross country shape ones, which are just cut away at the back, a bit thinner. So just means that they're a bit lighter and not so much contact on the horse um, and keeps them a bit cooler. So just some new studs, hard ground studs. Um, so I'm just sorting them into our stud tray, stud box into sizes and sharpness. Also on here, I just make sure I've got a couple of spanners, a couple of picks, a couple of 
stud taps and also that our metal uh, magnetic trays are in and ready another wednesday activity here so this is my grooming boxes so basically this is my lifeline and events if this is not organized i do not have everything i need and want then it makes my life very difficult so i've just pulled it out of the truck um taken everything out given it a quick dust out um made sure everything's clean enough like all the brushes and stuff are all clean i try and disinfect them at least every second event just in case they've picked up something on them or anything like that <clears throat> um and i've got basically two of everything so i've got two of everything so we can set up two different grooming boxes uh, buckets when we get to an event so i can have one and anyone i'm working with can have another so you know where everything is at any time you can just grab it um a few of my favorite things i'll just point out obviously you can see the baits balsam and the baits leather cream plenty of that in there also another few good things is just some um johnson's baby shampoo um this is just really good if anything's got a slight skin irritation or anything like that just doesn't dry the skin out as much as normal shampoo um <clears throat> some great um ultra shield fly spray that we get through bright and subtlery baby wipes you can never have enough baby wipes they're good enough to clean um your bridles and stuff at the last minute effort to get everything clean and polished um and then i've got my quarter marker brush so this is my treasure love it it's got to have it's a short stiff bristled brush basically it gets used for quarter markers and that is it so i'm just going through a quick check over of the truck make sure everything went back in after canberra um so shane's helmets boots spurs everything in there um and then we've got boxes of work boots, cross country boots, show jump boots, ice boots, bandages, and pillow wraps, just, uh, just to stack in neatly and put it all in there. And then the grooming box that we just went through lives in that end cupboard there. We're just gonna give the trailer a little bit of a top up with some shavings. Um, so, and then I'll do the truck afterwards. So the trailer takes five horses and the truck takes eight. So we can take 13 away in one vehicle. So this is just uh, bringing the hay around now. So we're just going to fill up every dog box we can. Um, hopefully we'll have enough hay in for Saturday and Sunday. So I'm just about to tackle uh, the drawer in order... Um, time order for each day so it's i've got a few different colored pens and textures and whatever i could find i like to do it in colors for each rider so we can have a rundown basically of times of it, when every horse needs to be ready plus what's happening for each rider so we can break it down a bit more and find out if there's enough time between each horse for that rider or whether we need to try and push in for the jumping phases or anything like that. So I'll report back in a minute and show you what we can find out. So here's Saturday figured out. Um, so blue is Shane's horses, black is what Rebel's riding, red is Sam, yellow highlighter is Nikki's. Orange is just black and pink is sage. So it's going to be a pretty full on day, but it's pretty good that we've got all dressage. And then once the dressage is done, we can crack on with the jumping. So Sunday's timetable is looking a lot more pleasant with less horses going than Saturday's. Um, again, we're getting all the dressage done first thing, and then it's on to the jumping. So Rebel's got quite a few horses, um, in the 95 class. So we just need to be mindful that to have them all ready, um, on time to jump. Cause there's, we've written down the block class, block times here. So she's got four horses in that class. So they all need to go cross country and show jump within that time. So we just need to be on the ball and have them ready. It's now Thursday. So two days before we head to Camden for the event. 
Uh, Shane's flooding all these horses today, so I've just got a couple in ready. So this, these two here are both thoroughbreds off the track. The bay one is Trix or Matrix. He's entered in the two-star class. And this is Clive. He raced as Battlers 4. Uh, he's having his first start this weekend with Sam riding him. So he's in the EVA 80. So they're just in and waiting for their riders to come back to jump on. So today's Thursday. Um, got a few bridles and stuff that I can go through now that we've got the draw with their bridle numbers. So we try to make a bridle up for every single horse so they can have their own bits and things on it. Um, so we've got all our bridle numbers sitting here. They need to go on it. And then they'll all get dressage reins put on. But then in the truck, I also pack jumping rain so basically everything on the flat doesn't have these keepers on them because they're just a bit ugly and can make their necks look a little bit short when they in the dressage ring so we choose rubber reins um with no stoppers on them for dressage and then they'll go in these reins with stoppers so they can wear their rings for jumping faces so the bridles are all set up as much as we can. Obviously, we can't put all the bits on because we need to use them to ride the horses tomorrow. So I've got all the Saturday horses with their bridle numbers on here. And then in a separate bag over this side are all the horses for Sunday. So I've got, I mean, I am short a couple of bridles, so I'll have to use reuse a few of the Saturday ones. But we'll just have to remember to repack them. Um, I've got the reins in separate bags just for the moment until... We can put the bits on, so tomorrow afternoon, once the horse has been ridden, we'll put all the bits on with their rain, so it's easy and quick when we get there in the morning. So the other thing that happened today is that Shane has forgotten to tell me that he got a late entry for another horse in the two-star class on Sunday. So I'm just heading out to the truck now to put into our bags that we packed yesterday a few extra saddle blankets that we need for that horse and this horse also requires a few specific pieces of gear so I'm just going out there now to check to make sure we have everything in for him. So this is our main saddle covered in the truck just this gear that's in there now stays in there all the time. Um, just a few dressage girths, a couple of spare bits of different sorts in case we forget anything or anything that changes their mind. We've got some flat pads, front risers, back risers that we need for specific horses, um, lots of tr string, we're barely trying to tie up to the side of the truck, false tails, a couple of spare sets of reins for emergencies and lots of towels. So it's now Friday morning, mid-morning, we've got through the race horses okay, uh, straight on to the eventers and this guy's the first one, washed ready to be platted today. This is hashtag trouble. He's entered in the three-star class with Sam Woods running him. So I'll put some plats in and then we've just got a day of washing and plating today. So we'll see how that goes. Plated, a few now they've got the hood rugs on with tail bag attachments um, started plating about 11 30 it's about 3 30 now I've got nine of them done these girls are pretty keen to get their feed so still a couple to go but well on the way to being under control In the afternoon here nearly six o'clock um we're going okay for schedule all the horses are pretty much plodding um jess is just finishing off her last one now we've bought the truck and trailer around just to put saddles and bridles in and a few extra things that we couldn't put in earlier in the week um yeah see what happens now